What is it like using the Nissan Leaf in 2023? So here are the Nissan Leaf cells and we have one all thread uh, and then you can connect them together, right? So right here, one of the things that I did recently was acquire um, a Nissan Leaf battery. And I want to be explaining why a whole lot of it um, in time past um, you've been hearing a whole lot of stuff um, about it swelling and getting spoiled and stuff like that. Um, and if it's still a good application for to use for solar in 2023. All right. So one of the things that we talked about when I was with Docker Solar, one of the things that we actually talked about was the fact that um, maybe he wouldn't prefer to make batteries anymore. Yeah, you know, when I, when I entered his office, one of the things that I saw was, um, you know, some batteries here yeah, and there, lithium batteries that were no longer working. And, you know, I asked questions. I wanted to know, oh, what's, what's wrong with this? And he said, ah, oh, this, 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 that. And many of the things that, you know, happened in my own mind, the things that I can picture is just one thing. And maybe sometimes there are two things. Um, it might be the battery cell. Is bad or the BMS system. It's, it's, it's always around something like that most of the time. Maybe a little bit of, um, maintenance could actually, um, get you to making it work again. But many times that batteries get spoiled, I always tell people, especially when it comes to lithium batteries, life before, it's always the BMS or the cell goes bad. So in the case of the Nissan Leafs, one of the things, experience that I've had with the Nissan Leaf is, you know, customers that um, complained about them does not work and this and that. One of the things that I do when I get there first, maybe I learned this the hard way actually. I spent the entire day with this customer and, um, you know, going back and forth, what could be wrong, changing every single thing, checking the cells, making sure they are right, removing some of the cells that were lower, trying to charge them up and trying to see if there's a cell that is bad and stuff. But um, I did something. I removed the BMS. And I connected the battery um, to the um, the power source. That's the inverter. I connected the battery. I connected the battery to the inverter, and I noticed that the um, the battery was stable. That means it was charging properly. Everything was working properly. It lasted very long compared to the fact to the um, compared to when it was not doing so much. Where it, it would go off in like five seconds. It was just that bad. So one of the things that I noticed is um, many of these batteries have bad BMS. Um, battery monitoring system. So the battery monitoring system is a protector for the batteries. And many times, a lot of people have not no, figured it out that what is supposed to be a protection, what is supposed to help your batteries is the real problem. And I've seen this even with, you know, big ESS packs. That means, um, energy storage packs, um, where you get like the entire 48 volt pack and stuff like that. Um, where the BMS just fails. And that's like, it's not just something that you want to happen, especially when you are investing so much. You know, I talk about investment a lot, especially in this battery, because I, that's the way I see it. I see it as I have to get a return on my investment. If I've invested so much of money in getting the lithium ion battery, I should get a return on my investment. So let's talk about this one right here. These batteries are as, as good as they are. They can be pretty unstable and they are, be, them being unstable can be um, basically anything. Um, it can be um, due to the weather, due to a whole lot of stuff, due to low charge rates and stuff like that. But one of the things that I've noticed with the Nissan Leaf and a lot of people complain about them is the fact that a lot of people don't have you know, good battery monitoring systems to actually um, keep these batteries working for a long time. So one of the things that happens is once the battery monitoring system goes down, that means it gets spoiled, the batteries begin to downgrade. They begin to go down over time. It might be one month, two months. And one of the things that you will now start to notice is the batteries begin to swell. I think I saw that case in Dr. Solar also. Um, some batteries, some of the Nissan Leaf that he got that, you know, for a customer and many of them started to swell and he had to bring them back. I think I'm going to post the video up here so they can actually view it. And, um, all right. So one, one of the things that you want to, um, actually be 
conscious about if you are going to be using this for your solar application in 2023 is getting a good battery monitoring system. And there are a lot of them out there, but you also want to be careful for um, getting like cheap stuff. Cheap will not work in this sense. Cheap will only get you to use this kind of batteries for maybe probably six months a year. And um, compared to getting the original, something really good that can last you for a really, really long time. So these are not great A cells. These are not, um, I didn't get this from, um, you know, from the car directly. So the Nissan Leaf is from an electric vehicle and um, it's the, the application is really for an electric vehicle. It's not for your renewable energy storage, but because it's battery, we can always play with it. And that's why I actually love it. And basically I do a whole lot with it. All right, so the setup I have here, as you can see, is not the normal setup. So I don't have bus bars and a whole lot of stuff. All I have here is just to actually test this out to actually see if it actually works. Um, I had a lot of, got a lot of comments from it and stuff like that. People saying it does not work. So I didn't want to spend so much on this. So I just put something together to just be sure that it actually works. And it does work. Um, I'm still like bringing up, um, removing a lot of energy from it. Even with my fake bus bars, I just have like, um, you know, um, wires to connect from the, um, neck positive to the positive and just like that. One of the things that I first did was, you know, put everything in parallel. Um, one of the things that you want to first of all do is put everything in parallel. That means your positives, all your positives, all your negatives. You have a middle ground here. This is a positive and a negative. Um, that's the middle ground. So in, in the pack, you have like two, um, cells. That's like, um, a 3.5 volt and a 3.5 volt in the pack. So you want to like parallel them to make sure that every cell, that means all the batteries and all the, all the cells are at the same voltage. So that's one thing that you also, that you actually want to do. All right. So, um, I think, yes, like I said, it, it's not something that is off the mind. You can actually still use this in 2023 for your upgrade, your, um, solar application but you want to make sure that all the you want to make sure that you get a good battery monitoring system so that these batteries do not end up getting you not know, swelling up and a whole lot of stuff like that all right if you like this video please like and share comment drop anything i would love to hear from you my name is solar with Akonde. cheers